framing details can make buildings much better, but as an architect, not all framing decisions are in your control. Here are some do's and don't bothers when specifying framing details. Do use 24 inch on center layout. It makes more room for insulation and cuts thermal bridge potential. Raised heel trusses are a great way to add insulation over the exterior walls. Another way is to overframe the roof by adding a complete ceiling assembly before the rafters. If you're wrapping the outside with insulation, keep the rafters inside the envelope and then build a soffit after the fact. Headers are a great place to focus because they take up a lot of space. First, if you don't need them, get rid of them. If you do need them, add a layer of insulation to the sandwich. You can also recess an extra ply of rim board into the floor above openings to eliminate headers from walls altogether. As long as you're omitting things, specify two stud corners and as few studs as practical around windows, doors, and wall intersections. And here are a few items to not bother doing. Don't bother pushing windows over to layout. Sometimes the windows can stack nicely, but chances are they'll not stack nicely everywhere and you'll spend a lot of time trying to save a couple studs. Don't bother adjusting the roof pitch so that full sheets of plywood will work. Roof sheathing is cheap. Also, there are a lot of ways to frame a roof, so chances are the framer's cuts won't match your calculations. Instead, match the pitch of the roof to the best angle for solar panels and cover the roof with them.